Anti-aging medicine is looking for the prevention, the treatment, and even reversal of the age-related dysfunction that occurs. You see anti-aging used as a label on everything, and if the product says it's anti-aging, anti-regal, it just simply flies off the shelf. So even though we all would like to think we really don't mind getting old, I think we really do. I just would like to make the point that uh, while anti-aging medicine can include uh, cosmetic procedures like Botox, dermal fillers, skin rejuvenation, etc., all these external pieces are great, but really anti-aging medicine strives to, to, um, to heal the person from within and, and to, um, to rejuvenate the body from the inside as well as the outside. So that's a major piece of anti-aging medicine. It's not just uh, Botox and, um, and Restylane. There's much more to it than that. So a major area in anti-aging medicine is looking at metabolic and DNA repair. So metabolically, we want to make, we want to try and keep a person sound and functioning. A big area of interest now in anti-aging medicine is uh, DNA repair. Now, everyone has, um, I think you know what chromosomes are, and we all have 20, 23 pairs of chromosomes. Well, each chromosome, if you think of it as sort of like a, um, you've got a, a shoelace, and on each end there's these little caps that keep the shoelaces from fraying. Well, these little caps are called telomeres, and that's the end of the chromosomes. And we have found that with aging, the telomeres are central to maintaining your DNA in a healthy way. So the telomeres actually shorten with aging. And we, we now know that these telomeres are a marker for aging. So someone who's 60 can have, if their telomeres are very short, they, biologically they may be, have the same, be on the same age level as a 70 year old. So these telomeres are, are perhaps our next, um, a, 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 a new tool in the anti-aging community. There, there have been studies that um, show how exercise can actually prevent tel um, telomere loss. So they've looked at people who exercise a lot and people the same age who are very, fairly sedentary and the difference in their telomeres is, is as much as 10 years. So exercise is huge. Another factor they have found in telomere, in, in um, preserving telomere length is uh, meditation. So they've actually looked at people um, who were, um, they, they looked at people who are experienced meditators uh, as opposed to people who are not and they on average their telomeres were up to like 10 again you know five to ten years younger basically so there's a lot of research going on looking at ways to preserve the telomere we can measure your telomeres now there's a company that I uh, use for a number of labs that will can actually measure your your telomeres and um, and you can have an idea of how old you are and you can change it. It's not like, oh my God, my tel telomeres are short, I'm done. No, you can actually change it with lifestyle changes. But of course, the sooner it's better to not let them get as short by, by living a healthy lifestyle now. The main things that you can do to live not just longer, but to live a healthy life is Number one, 80% of all chronic disease could be prevented if no one smoked. So smoking is the number one issue uh, in preventive health care. Maintaining a healthy weight is, is, um, is essential. People who were actually being a little overweight is probably better than being underweight. So even though they talk about caloric restriction, um, being underweight is, is, not, is not associated with, with longevity. So a healthy weight is very important. Physically active, moving, leading a sedentary life. There, there was uh, an article talk, talked about, now there's a new, we're sort of making up a new disease called cytosis, meaning people who sit all the time. And it's, it's actually sitting all the time or sitting 70% of the time like most of us do, 
has almost the same effect as, as you know, smoking um, a pack a day. So sitting can be as deadly as smoking or, or an inactive li lifestyle. And then um, lastly, having healthy relationships, healthy, um, you know, a social network, whether it's a, um, you have um, interact friends, you have a social support system. You, you, whether that's a, a um, religious or cultural or whatever activity, doesn't matter as long as you have um, friends in, in a social support system. Positive personality traits have been associated with longevity. Uh, there was a, a, snut, a study looking at people, people who were anxious and irritable uh, and had high levels of stress actually had shorter lifespans. So being calm and organized and um, content is associated with longevity. People who meditate seem to be able to um, they manifest these characteristics more readily. And meditation has, it, now that we have functional uh, MRIs, meaning that they can actually, they take pictures of the brain during meditation, and they actually see these areas of the brain light up that um, that are associated with calming and, and et cetera. So, so they know that, me that meditation is working in this way. What does a healthy aging protocol look like? Well, what I offer in my practice is the first thing that we look at, first of all, we do a, a take a full history and physical and look at all your, your, look at you as a whole person. Then we will look at your diet um, and your lifestyle. We will look at your hormones and see where, where you are in that continuum. Um, we will look at, at nutritional deficiencies we will do testing that can look at that. Um, we will look at body composition and we will put together a program that will address those needs. And, and once, once we kind of get the deficiencies corrected, then um, we might move into other areas looking. There, there are a number of tests we can do looking at, depending on your risk, for cardiovascular issues, to, we can do, um, we can measure your telomeres. Uh, there's a number of tests that we can do to give us a biological age versus your chronological age. Then we will alter your plan accordingly to meet those needs.